Hey, what's up you guys? After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more of The Walking Dead. This is season 2 episode 6. Um, yeah, so we ended last episode on uh, a bit of a, a revelation. There's like a bunch of zombies. No, no, no. Bunch of walkers in the um, barn. Explain? Do you want to explain? Just wondering. Anyways, let's get into the episode. <clears throat> so not only are we like keeping walkers in a butt, we're feeding them. Whose dumb idea was this? Here, enjoy. I'm trying to buy my silence with fruit? Of course not. There's no so jerky. <clears throat> Please tell me why your dad has a secret barn full of walkers. He's creepy. You know that, right? Shh. Just trust me on this, okay? But I suck at lying. I can't even play poker. It's too much like lying. You have to keep this to yourself, please. Why? Can you just explain why, how? I don't. I just need dances, yeah. like peaches for you. So nothing. <clears throat> nothing says why. I'm so sorry. I feel like shit. Yeah, you and me both. I don't expect you to forgive me, but if there's anything I can do... You're trying to protect the crew. We're good. I mean, yeah, but... What well, happened? She was told not to. Excuse me again? The best prayer I'm dead. There, it was very forgiving. <laughs> what did Rick say? You didn't tell him, but you have to. You're pregnant. You need vitamins, medicine, a nice pillow. <laughs> vitamins. A pillow. Okay, eat. You need to eat. You're too skinny. And if you're not gonna let Rick take care of you, then someone has to. Lori, you have a medical condition. I'll make another run into town. Just tell me what you need. I need you to be quiet about this. Rin's too sweet. <laughs> Poor guy has to keep everyone's fucking secrets. I want to learn to shoot too. Can you teach me? Ugh. <laughs> it's up to your parents. Can you talk to them? I'm gonna listen to you. We'll see. Hey. See what you got there. How the hell did this happen? Well, it's my fault. I, I let him into the RV. He said he, he wanted a walkie. Did you send him for one? So on top of everything else, he lied. What? I wonder where he gets that from. He wants to learn how to shoot. He asked me to teach him how. It's, it's none of my business, but I'm happy to do it. It's, it's your call. Well, I'm not comfortable with it. I mean, we're in a world where he kind of needs to oh, know how to defend himself. Be the unreasonable one here. Well, I have my concerns too, but there's no but. He was just shot. He's just back on his feet, and he wants a gun. Better than him being afraid of him. There are guns in camp for a reason. He should learn to handle them safely. I don't want my kid walking around with a gun. How can you defend that? You can't let him go around without protection. He's as safe as he'll ever be right here. I'm not gonna play with him, Mom. It's not a toy. I'm sorry I disappointed you. But I want to look for Sophia. I want to defend our camp. I can't do that without a gun. Shane's the best instructor I know. I've seen him teach kids younger than Carl. Which is kind of weird, but all right. You will take this seriously, and you will behave responsibly, and if I hear from anyone in this camp that you are not living up to our expectations... He won't let you down. Yeah. You come, I gotta help Dale clean the spark plugs on the RV. Say he's gonna teach me mechanics. I should probably go look for him. You found me. He's a good learner. Spark plugs, huh? Want to tell me what's going on? You're old. You're... you know things. So, so... What if somebody told you something that somebody else should know? Well, stop being dramatic. Spit it out. There's walkers in the barn and Lori's pregnant. <coughs> I don't know if we should be wasting this many bullets. Be discouraged. You hit the target eventually. Who says I didn't hit my target? Tabby, you got better balance twice around. Say she got the hang of it. 
Say she's ready for the advanced class. Find her way home? Found her in her stall this morning. I love your shields. Took a long walk this morning. I ended up by the barn. I heard the moans. It's unfortunate. I'm sure you have your reasons for keeping this a secret. I saw the broadcast before they stopped. I saw the irrational fear, the atrocities, like the incident at my well. We put down a walker and killed a person. Well, if you watched the same broadcast as I did, you saw walkers attack, kill. They're dangerous. Paranoid schizophrenic is dangerous, too. We don't shoot sick people. With all due respect, you are cut off from the outside world here. I've seen people that I cared about die and come back, and they're not people. My wife and stepson are in that barn. Ah, OK. They're people. I'm sorry. Let me help. I'll, I'll speak to Rick. He's a good man. We can make the barn more secure, keep everybody safe. The barn is secure. Keep this to yourself if you want to help. Rick is a man of conscience, but are you so sure about everyone in your group? No. The target's too small. Come on, that's crap. Half hour ago, I saw you nail a bullseye at 25 feet. It wasn't moving. You think a walker's gonna hold still for you? Folks, and reload. Go again. Uh oh, that pissed you off. Come on, girl, you got walkers all around you. They're in the woods. They're in the RV. Gotta need more than a damn screwdriver. Stop you know? badgering me. You know, you're too damn emotional. You need to shut it down. Take all that guilt, take that fear, that being pissed off, take it out. Right, because you're so calm. See, I can be pissed off. I could be whistling Dixie, and I always hit the target. But you, God, you shoot like a damn girl. And you stand here, you point your weapon. Point like you point your finger. Do not think about it. I'm talking about muscle memory, girl. Muscle memory. Now go on, shoot that son of a bitch. He's coming for it. He's feet away. He's not feet. He's not right there. That's the walker that got Amy. Now you shoot that son of a bitch. Shoot him. Were you going to tell me? Of course. When? How long have you known? Glory, let's not talk shit about secrets. Food and water and medical care. I've been talking with Herschel. It's not carved in stone. He thinks it is. We have to fix this. People are settling in here. They'll be devastated. I know. I'm working on it. Well, maybe I can talk to him too and plead our case. No, things are uneasy. The best thing right now is to give Herschel some space. Don't look at me like that. Like what? Like you don't trust me. I can take it from everyone else, but not from you. I don't understand how you could keep something like this from me. <laughs> I lied? Carl's barely on his feet. <sighs> Laurie, you're pregnant with, like, a baby that is not his, and, and you even told him. Just to make sure you, Carl, are okay, we will get by. We will. I don't understand how you can keep something like this for me. Shut up! Come on, let me give you a lift. My feet work just fine. Hey, look, I'm just trying to get you rattled. I'll give you a... Give you an idea what it's like when the shit starts to fly. Is that an apology? I crossed the line when I brought Amy into it. You're a real dick sometimes. Yeah, I acknowledge that. I'll tell you what. I got a lead on Sophia. I'll go check it out. She come with me. Be my backup. Glenn told you. What did you expect? The boy has no guile. I haven't told Rick. I can't. Because of no shame? Was it that obvious? No, no. I don't think anyone knew. I didn't, not, not for sure. Look, I thought my husband was dead. And I felt like I died with him, and I, I wanted to feel something, anything. And now I hate myself for it. And the baby? It's Rick's. And none of the rest of it matters. What's your concern? Memories Can't possibly be his. Memories of what life used to be. I got a deep well to draw on. I still remember joy. But I think Carl's well is already running dry. And this baby? Baby won't have any good memories at all. Only fear and pain. You can't think like that. <laughs> we can still find joy. And we, we can still take strength from each other. Do you really think this baby has a chance that it can grow up and live a happy life? Look me in the eye and tell me that my baby can grow up to be your age and, and it die happy. Tell me you believe that. <clears throat> oh, man.
Peggy. I, I asked for your trust and you betrayed it. And my dad's pissed at me. Your turn. Hey, you don't know that he told. He didn't so mention Glenn at all. Your dad thinks they're sick. You agree with that? Even after what you saw at the well? I'm not sure what I saw at the well. Yes, you are. If you had seen Atlanta, you would not have a barn full of walkers. I wish you'd stop calling them that. What do you call? Mom. Sean. Mr. and Mrs. Fisher. Lacey. Duncan. What does she want now? Can't say. So one of them asked you to keep your mouth shut. Crawl out of my butt. Help me look, please. You got no blood on yourself, okay. We got your stuff. Maggie, hang on, please. Come come on in here. Why, nothing to hide. We got your special delivery right here. We got the lotion. The soap for digest. Maggie. Next time you want something, get us your damn self. We're not your errand boys. Honey, I'm... And here's your abortion pills. It's not cool. Which part? The part where that bitch almost got us killed? I should have gone alone. If you want to blame anybody, blame me. Right. Take the blame. You know, for a smart guy, you're really stupid. I mean, he did offer. Yeah, I'm confused because I think you just paid me a compliment, but you made it so. <laughs> I've already lost three of the people that I care about most in this world. Maggie. Shut up. You're smart. You're brave. You're a leader. But you don't know it, and your friends don't want to know it. They'd rather have you fetching peaches. Just a dead guy in the well? Send Glenn down. Your walker bait. I can't take you becoming one of them. She was never here. Was she? I don't know how to tell Carol this was another dead end. Come on, let's move. <laughs> Go to that street. I'll clear the car. <laughs> If you hadn't come back. But we did. I always do. The morning after pills, will they even work? I don't know. Lori. We're, uh, we're friends, aren't we? With everything we've been through, yeah. I can't tell you what to do. I could never tell you something like that. But your choice, maybe you shouldn't make it alone. I mean, I, I had a feeling this is where this was going. Anything? Not today. I'm so sorry. We'll cover more ground tomorrow. What happened out there? Um, I... Vice was overrun. Yeah. Let's go get you cleaned up. Shane, Shane, hmm. I was thinking, you got that nice new ride of yours, plenty of fuel. 
more than enough for you to get far from here. What, you tell me to leave? I don't know if you've been planning to. Maybe now is a good time. <laughs> is this about Andrew? I'm looking out for the group. You think the group would be better off without me, Dale? Did you tell that to Rick or Lori? That boy would be dead if I hadn't put my ass on the line. And Otis is. Now, you've been vague about that night, about what happened. He's... He's real... He's smart. Otis died a year old. So you've said. He raised people quite well. little boy lived because of what went down that night. I think you ought to show some gratitude. I wasn't there. No, man. You weren't. But I was the time that you raised your gun on Rick. You had him in your sights, and you held him there. I know what kind of man you are. I think I shoot Rick. That is my best friend. That's the man that I love. I love him like he's my brother. You think that's the kind of man I am? That's right. Well, maybe we ought to just think that through. That's it. I'm the kind of man who gunned down his own best friend. What'd you think I'd do to some guy that I don't even like when he starts throwing accusations in my way? What'd you think? She goes out to the well to, you know, do the pregnancy test, but does this in her own tent. What is this? Something you need to tell me? We can't leave. I'm pregnant. Are you? I threw him up. You can yell if you want. You can scream if you have to. Talk to me. How long have you known? I didn't know. Days? Weeks? And you didn't tell me? I didn't tell you. No, I found these. So, so Glenn knows, right? Instead of coming to me, you, 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 you send him to get pills. I, I, you just tell me we have no roof and no. I wall. do not put this on me. You tear into me for keeping secrets when you're when you're holding on to this. You want me to bring a baby into this to live a short, cruel life? How can you think like that? We can't protect the son we already have. So this is the solution. I threw them up. I screwed up. I don't know. How we do this? We can make it work. We'll figure it out. Should, shouldn't we try to figure it out? You threw up. You threw up the pills. You want this baby? I know you do. Not like this. I'm not giving birth in a ditch. No. Not when it's life I am not dead for the second it's born. Now, when every cry, we'll we'll put it and and Carl and everyone we care about into danger. That's not right. Not even giving it a chance isn't right either. Maybe this is why I didn't want to tell you. I still, I still don't understand why. You, you really think I'd make you have a baby you don't want? So that if I went through with it, it would be on my conscience and not yours. Maybe that's true. But I can't live like this anymore. Lori, we can't live like this. Is there anything else I should know about? Don't lie. Shane and I. What? Really? You thought I was dead. The world went to shit and you thought I was dead. Right? And you thought, hey, let's sleep with his best friend. <laughs> what is that reaction? I'm sorry, like... Hello? <laughs> you took that really well! I know, like... How, how could you possibly know and, and just like, be okay with that? No, I don't know. No. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, Food and things like electricity, gas, and water have all gone up, and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, 
Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. So, we got a little bit of answers I suppose. Not really, don't really know how they got them in to the barn. Um, but the reason that they're keeping them around is because they don't, they still see them as people. Awkward. Um, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one.